Hello, I'm Olivia again. This time we'll learn chapter 4 to India in Whose Mother Trust a Book. Okay, let's go. Early in the January 1929, I just arrived in India in a city of Madras, now called Chinia. The port city of Madras has no many different color, sight, and small studs, and just had never explored it before. But it also had many poor people who made Angie's heart ache. She saw one family gather around a real life who had died in the street. Other families who slept outside on mats made from plum leaves. Still, others who didn't even have that was simply slept on the bare ground. And just sailed up the India coast to Kakura, now called Kakuta, for the first time on January 6, 1929. After 10 days in Kakura, Angus took her first train ride to Darjeeling. The town of Darjeeling is famous around the world for growing the tea of the same time, same name. It is located high above sea level, the average elevation. It's more than one mile, so the weather is too much cooler than in many other parts of India. It was many be beautiful plants, flowers and animals, but Angus wasn't there for the century. She was dazzling to continue preparing to become a nun. At Loreto Convent in Darjeeling, Andrews studied English, Bengal, and Hindi for two years, while also teaching children at the convent school. While Hindi was the official language of India, Bengal was spoken in Kakura. Her father's ability to speak many languages must have rubbed off on Angus because she learned them all quickly. She spoke excellent English, drew with a heavy European accent, and so talked easily with many people in India on May 24, 19. 31, and just took for her first rose as a nun. Now she became Sister Teresa. She took the name Teresa after the French saint who was only 24 when she died in 1897. Sister Teresa and this had much in command the giant Tarsin. He had been called Flower Bud. The side Tarsus was known as the Little Flower. They were both know her their simply and practically. And Saint Tars, who had been a nun, was part of Spain of missionaries an impression to Sister Teresa. And just spell her name the Spanish way, Teresa, because there already was a sister Mary La Darso at Lotha. The school children started calling Sister Teresa, Bagel Teresa since she spoke their language so well. 
Not long after taking her vows, Sister Teresa went back to Calcutta. She began to teaching the girls at Saint Mary's. The school was located within the high white walls and spreaded the lather. Convent from a bustling city outside, for much of the next seventeen years, Sister Teresa's daily routine was the same. She was up、uh, at five thirty in the morning for some quiet time before mass at at six a.m. Then came prayer time, breakfast, and school. After school, there was office work, afternoon tea, and at correcting papers. When dinner, evening prayers, and bedtime. In nineteen forty-four, the mother's posture. As Sister Miss Mary became ill, Sister Teresa was ha- hardworking and organized, and she knew how the school contagion. Due to her long service there, so she took over the mother's priorities duties. And she would be known as Mother Teresa the rest of her life. Mother Teresa found comfort in the discipline of her routine and joy in teaching the、mm-hmm. students. I love teaching, Mother Teresa said, and it was thorough. It was the happiest nun in the world. Okay, everyone. Next time we'll chapter five. A long wait, and we today we'll read the chapter four of Who Was Mother Teresa. So goodbye. See you next time. Bye bye.